in irregular shedding also called as Halman disease very important has been asked in exam Halman disease is irregular shedding. So, what is happening? See the corpus luteum forms after ovulation who is the savior of this corpus luteum? It is LH. So, LH is the savior of corpus luteum when after the luteal phase ends once the luteal phase starts ending the LH goes as a result corpus luteum starts become atretic. But what is happening in Halbin disease is this LH persists. So, the main pathology of Halbin disease is persistent LH which does not goes away. As a result the corpus luteum also does not become atretic it stays and it keeps on secreting progesterone. This progesterone which was supposed to fall in the end of the cycle it goes on secreted. Then as a result when progesterone estrogen falls in the end of cycle FSH starts rising and starts the new cycle. But here progesterone is persistent so FSH levels will not rise they will keep on decreasing. As a result remember this cycle here when the progesterone was falling the FSH was rising here FSH was rising as a result the follicle cohort was starting to mature. Now since FSH has not risen enough the follicles that will mature will be not much in amount not good in quality. So, follicular maturation is affected as a result what will happen the endometrium which was formed by the estrogen released by follicles will not be a good endometrium because the follicles being recruited are not good are less estrogen is less the endometrium which starts forming here is a weak one right. So, when you do a histopathology here what you find so because of lack of estrogen what happens this kind of endometrium forms a wall without much bricks. So, what happened how the patient will present menses have stopped here next cycle has started, but the next cycle wall is really weak one. So, patient will have spotting the spotting once the menses have stopped menses stopped, but due to a weak wall due to less estrogen patient will keep having the spotting this is how patient presents spotting even after menses because of this kind of endometrium formed. And if you will do histopathology somewhere here because patient is having spotting what will you find that you will find that since the estrogen is not sufficient and progesterone is persistently being secreted the histopathology will characteristically show proliferative plus secretory endometrium both. Otherwise normally here we should have only the proliferative histopathology, but we will have proliferative plus secretory. The treatment treatment of Halbin's disease is one and that is NSAIDs. For Halbin's disease the treatment is NSAIDs.